Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to introduce you to search verticals. Let me first explain to you what I'm talking about. So here I am on this HR team site and I have um, obviously some content here, some documents, some news and announcements, links, and so on. When I execute a search for a given keyword, I obviously get the results. And it could be, you know, essentially a mix of results, you know, files, folders, uh, maybe even some news announcements. So here, for example, I have a bunch of, you know, Word documents. I have some page that was returned with the same, uh, you, you know, essentially test a keyword. I even have uh, some items here on the list uh, that match this particular keyword. Long story short, you have essentially a bunch of results kind of all lumped together. Now, luckily, we have these tabs on top that allow us to filter the results further, all right? So, uh, for example, if I only want to see the files, uh, it will only filter for files. You know, as you can see, right, it filters out all the different pages that I have and uh, list items and so on. If I happen to have uh, maybe a site or uh, news articles uh, or images matching uh, this criteria, essentially those um, in the verticals, uh, those tabs uh, would filter it for us. And these things are called uh, SharePoint search verticals. It's the same idea as you do a search on Google. When you search on Google for something uh, on the very top, you can filter your results by images, videos, and you know different types of content. Same idea here. Now, by default, this list of tabs, it's kind of fixed. However, you can also customize it. So the great news is that you can customize uh, essentially the uh, list of tabs and even create your own ones. And let me show you how. So there are actually um, two ways to create and customize those tabs. You can do so at the site level and you can do so at the global level, all right? So everything obviously you do at the site level only impacts the site. Uh, when you configure things uh, globally, you actually impact the global search that you execute from SharePoint start page. So let me show you first how uh, you as a regular site owner can alter those uh, tabs and even create your own ones. And then I will um, I essentially show you a quick way of doing so at the tenant level. So here I am, I happen to be on this board side. I have a bunch of content, a bunch of stuff. And essentially you need to go behind the scenes, uh, gear icon, site information. Obviously you do need to be the site owner. This thing is not available to regular site members. Only site owners can alter the search experience and the tabs up top. Uh, and under Microsoft Search at the bottom, you're going to see Search Insights and Configuration. And now this is essentially the area where you can alter those, um, you know, this experience. Uh, by default, you get this screen which shows you uh, insights on various queries, uh, you know, that people are searching for. What you want to click on is this vertical tab, and essentially it shows you all the different out of the box tabs that exist and you know plus the custom one this is actually the custom one i created uh, now you cannot really uh, delete any of those out of the box um, you know verticals but you can hide them you can actually hide them if you notice for example the news one is kind of enabled by default uh, but if i double click on it and again, there is no way to delete the out of the box one, but you can say edit, and then you can actually say, you know, disabled, all right, and update the vertical. It will pretty much hide it, all right, from the screen. So that's great. But what's also cool, you can actually uh, create your own custom one. So I actually already created one, and I will demonstrate how this uh, works because um, one, when you publish a new vertical and then you um, you actually have to wait for several hours uh, for it to propagate. So obviously we're not going to do that. Let me show you how to create a new vertical. So you obviously click the plus sign and you uh, give it uh, a name. And then you, you pretty much just go through the list. Uh, yeah, this source is SharePoint. And that's actually cool. If you are into some advanced configuration, you can bring in information from other sources, from other connectors. 
um, you know, maybe you're searching, I don't know, some third party application as well. But in our case, let's keep it simple. We are only um, searching uh, for SharePoint site. Uh, this is where you can actually perform a query. So essentially, the purpose of the vertical is to only concentrate on a subset of documents. So um, maybe, I don't know, you only want to search for certain type, you know, uh, file types and so on. Uh, this is where the uh, keyword query language uh, is handy, and you can utilize the um, KQL, essentially, and execute a query. So in our case, let's just keep it simple. All right, we are going to uh, only search for PDFs. So we want this tab to only filter the results and only show us the PDFs. And by the way, right at the bottom, you can see the whole list of various, uh, you know, essentially managed properties that you, you can utilize. And obviously, if you're familiar with uh, KQL, you can create uh, your own query. Again, let's keep it simple here and click Next. You can also add filters. Uh, the filters are those drop downs uh, at the very top that you see. I think by default it allows us to filter by date and I think file type or something like that. But you can create your own custom, you know, filters as well. Uh, I once again based on managed properties, so you can set that up. Click next. This is where you review it. By default, the vertical is disabled. Uh, but you can enable it, of course. You must enable it, obviously. And then you say create vertical, all right? And again, after you create one, it actually does take some time for it to propagate. So we are not uh, going to see the changes right away. And uh, let's check it out. Let's see how this works. So I'm back on my, uh, you know, board side. This is the home page, And of course, I'm executing a search just like that. And here are the, you know, the tabs. Remember, I hit some of them. I think it takes a while for the news one to disappear, but uh, it will obviously disappear after some time. But here is the uh, PDF search one that I already had. Remember, the one we just created, it takes several hours. It's not going to appear right away. Uh, so uh, it will take some time. But I built a similar query before, so here it is. Uh, essentially, this vertical, this tab, filters out all the other file types it only shows the results for PDF. So if I click that, you are going to see just the results, you know, for PDF documents. All right. And by the way, this are the filters I was talking about. All right. So uh, if I were to create a new uh, filter based on some managed properties, it would appear over here. But this is essentially it. This is the vertical um, you can create uh, on your own site. And again, uh, if you're familiar with the keyword query language, uh, it definitely will help. Uh, so again, what I showed you just now um, is how you can create a vertical on your own site. If you are a global administrator, all right, global Microsoft 365 admin, and you want to impact the experience uh, globally when your users execute a search from uh, the SharePoint start page or maybe the, the um, you know, the main portal page, office.com, here's what you need to do. You need to navigate to the admin center and uh, then under all admin centers, you need to navigate to search an intelligence center. And you can actually do quite a bit here in terms of configuration, uh, but uh, if you click on the customizations, I believe yeah, right here, customizations tab, and then verticals, you can actually do the same thing. All right, so once again, you have out of the box verticals, but uh, you can uh, either disable them, right, hide them, or create your own ones uh, in a very similar way that I just showed you uh, as well. But again, you know, the change you do here, you, you know, the, the change that you execute here will impact the global search, not just a specific site. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. A very, very powerful feature. Uh, that literally, you know, allows the site owners and site admins to customize the uh, their sites or all the sites at the global level and really make the search experience nice and user friendly. All right. So once again, uh, thanks again for watching this uh, video and hopefully you learned something new. And uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, uh, SharePointMaven.com, as well as uh, my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye bye.